Hello, happy Friday. It's the 10th of December. I'm Erin Rao, and you're watching West Fair's News at Noon. U.S. inflation hit a 39-year high in November, rising even more than expected and at the fastest pace since 1982. Surging prices in food, energy, and shelter accounted for much of the gains. The Consumer Price Index, which measures the cost of a wide-ranging basket of goods and services, rose 0.8% for the month. That is a 6.8% pace on a year-over-year -year basis. Food prices have jumped 6% over a year, while used car and truck prices are up 31%. Energy prices have risen 33.3% since November 2020, with unemployment claims running at their lowest pace since 1969 and GDP expected to show strong gains to the end of 2021 Inflation remains the biggest problem in terms of our economic recovery. The world's richest man, Elon Musk, continues his fire sale of Tesla shares. The tech billionaire sold another 900,000 shares of his company last month, according to filings with the SEC. All totaled, Musk has unloaded almost $10 billion in Tesla stock in the last month. Some of the shares were sold in part to satisfy tax obligations related to an exercise of stock options. The eccentric billionaire also tweeted Thursday night that he is, quote, thinking of quitting my job and becoming a influencer full time. It was not clear if Musk was being serious, but Tesla shares were down over 1% in pre-market trading on Friday following the tweet, and this was after slipping 6% in the previous session. And Stanford-based WWE unveiled the first 15 college athletes who will be among the company's inaugural Next in Line class. The newly formed NIL program, also an acronym for name, image, and likeness, is intended to provide a pathway for collegiate athletes to become stars within the WWE. The company's NIL program follows the NCAA's historic new policy that took effect on July 1st, which allows college athletes to monetize their name, image, and likeness. The WWE will pay athletes for their participation in the program starting in the five-figure range, with a chance to escalate up to six figures depending on a myriad of factors such as social followings, Olympic medal realization, and other athletic and personal accomplishments. That is your News at Noon update for this Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm Aaron Rael, and I will see you on Monday. Same time, same place.